So. So. Okay, hello and welcome everyone to another Mind Colonies Let's Play with the developers. We're going on our development world here. <laughs> the next stream is right now. <laughs> you just came on at exactly the right time, Eris. Um, in the last episode, we progressed a little bit and we're going, going to continue this, but first. I gotta find a bed now to get started with a new day. We got down here. Hi Strothaler, how are you doing? How you have been? Okay. And now warehouse is the wrong place to sleep and now there are beds in the town hall. Okay. Uh, hi Ingerton, how are you? Okay, so this is again a slightly updated version on like yesterday. Um, however, we did add a few additional small fixes and I updated the resource pack to include now all of the citizen entities in the new medieval style. I finished, as I already said, the coding of integrating this into Mind Colonies and most likely that is going to be released by at least Monday. Similarly, the pirate ship got another fix as well. So that when and if we see a pirate raid during this video, that should run smoothly. And if not, anything could happen. That could just go terribly wrong because there's a lot of new code surrounding that. But it should actually improve the handling. Uh, so let's start by checking how Barnaby is doing. Ouch! It hit my finger again. Put a roof over that head. Uh, he's still uh, he's needing cauldrons too. So let me get some iron in the warehouse. I know that both of them are in need of iron right now. Yeah, today the stream is a slight bit early. Um, since I was already ready and didn't have anything else to do right now, or no nothing I could accomplish within the short time frame, to be more <laughs> specific. Besides that, I was yeah wrestling, doing a lot of C plus plus wrestling today again. Um, although there was some decent progress, so I'm kind of happy. And hi Iris Jeff, how are you doing? I was trying to get this voice stuff set up for Twitch. However, it seems that at this moment in time, OBS does not support the browser things that are required for that on Linux and a Linux platform. Yes. Sir. So I might need a little bit longer to get that going. And yes, the emojis are still underway. I believe that those should be finished on the weekend too. Let's see, did I get my yes? No, no iron for me. So that these post box requests get canceled actually is a problem with the request system, which we are going to deal with hopefully relatively soon too. Um, hi Eris, glad that you were able to make it. Um, the citizens using the rail is a new feature in 115 and it actually requires a research at the university to unlock that behavior. Hi Captain Salt, how are you doing? And Ingerton, I don't completely comprehend the problem you're having with the citizens. What do you mean you have four buildings with four citizens? That seems about right. So, let's 
bring the stuff to the builder that is also this one here also right needs away. no you're fine that's great hey, let's get started but you need oak bookshelves do i have oak log nope and hi set horizon how are you doing how you have been so let me drop off some of the other things to make a little bit of space in my inventory yeah that sounds better and then i need some oak logs with 32 of those i hope those get requests relatively soon that should be done great but there was still some oak in here and didn't see that okay now we first make barnaby happy because we promised him to bring him the men gotta do what men gotta do the cauldrons and then we bring the and uh, we're going to see how that is going to play out yeah okay oak planks and books equals a bunch of bookshelves great um yes <laughs> nah the so the so counter just started i think we're at max like 10 sows in the last minute or so okay Oops. I guess okay, I do need a wider repertoire of filler words then. So that you guys can't bug me anymore about saying so. <laughs> no, um, bookshelves should actually work in the sawmill. Like I just... Let me check that out but it should work in the sawmill actually <sighs> let me check that but it should work i can teach book shelf yep that worked did i teach the right one that's the question now yes oak bookshelf great I didn't know that because YouTube has that relatively easy the resolution stuff. I, I didn't than any know man. that. What's your building idea, Captain? What is that idea of yours? Um. I ho. Let me see the other building. Okay, that is uh, okay, doing a short pass here in the colony and see which buildings need an upgrade. Yeah, those hover tips are pretty useful, I guess. <laughs> Definitely. Um, Some add-ins is probably going to come relatively soon. He was probably surprised by me starting um the the stream early <laughs> i guess it's going to come on soon yeah he just read my message about the update so i guess he's um coming in that's that's literally the idea you're having is literally the idea of the combat academy they fight there together to train already like they fight it's like a two types of things they fight with training dummies and they also fight with each other to train they would do both of it literally gwen yes, what happened to sir. gwen 
What's it today, Dan? You got a bit small, Why Gwen. <laughs> Something happened to Gwen. That's funny. That's literally funny. Yeah, in the combat academy, they s they have like two tasks. They fight the training dummies and they fight each other. They do both of that and both of that gives experience. So I guess we could add some... What do you need? <laughs> Barnaby? Not Eli, Barnaby. Furnace. Do we have... Yes, we do. <laughs> there we go. Ouch. See, I was going to say so, but I said there we go. Um... Guess the other things seem to look fine for now. Okay, great. And a bunch of kids are growing up, so I can... No, they do actually do both. And now I can actually assign those kids, those new citizens, to the combat academy here. <laughs> One that takes bed and back to your colony. <laughs> that would be actually a neat idea. And hi Solmus, tell me, what's your idea? Child labor, bad idea. <laughs> Chat chain, talk, Patreon, to per level. We did think, or the one thing we thought about adding as a research in the future is something like a trainee program where kids either go to school or, or possibly both. They go to school and then the other part of the day they actually participate in the trainee program I was be like so that they actually do get levels no raids yet we've been raid few in this episode yet and last episode and do i guess that ep this episode for sure we're going to get a raid that is I'm pretty sure Minimum number of raids we're reaching relatively soon. Okay. Now we'll check out uh, the other buildings. So that one here, for example, needs a new upgrade to upgrade this one. So we have a bunch of guards patrolling around here. What are your oh, a bunch of guards now? That's pretty neat. With that, so one of the things I said in this video wanted I wanted to do is fortify this part a little bit of the colony, but I did not fully decide yet how I'm going to do that. Um, I will probably need a bunch more things than that what I have on myself right now. Yeah, it's like a technical school. Yes, exactly. So alchemist is, for example, a worker that is also on our list. Even though making workers um, nowadays is Beautiful getting plans, fairly easy. Like I can push out one worker a weekend if I actually want to. The reason that uh, we slowed down a little bit was because our builders were getting to the limits <laughs> of... Ray, please slow down. We can't build an entire style of new things as quickly as you were setting up um, all these new buildings. So, all these new workers. So, we made a small break to kind of give them a little bit of time to set that up. Maybe a little bit of diorite. Mix, make it polished one. What else can we take in terms of materials? Okay. 
Actually not searching something, just looking through the blocks we have a bunch of to see what we can use on the ocean side there to fortify it a little, little bit better. Yeah, and besides there, there that there's also that that a new worker also means a new potential source of bugs and all these kinds of things. Like we said repetitively, we could have implemented all the crafter workers a long time ago. The reason we only implemented them more recently is because we had the feeling that it was getting really stable now to a level where we can implement those without bad consciousness, basically. Oh, that sounds pretty awesome, Iron Iris Chef. It always helps a lot because those people bring us a huge influx of new players and increases our popularity significantly. We basically always notice when someone is streaming again because we usually get a lot new players. Like once we got suddenly a lot of people telling us that they don't speak English and they only speak French on our Discord. And we're like, where do all these French people come from all of these sudden? And it was actually because one enormous French YouTuber started playing Mine Colonies and that gave us a huge influx from that community. So that's pretty neat. Okay. Can walk over here. did not fully decide that how I'm going to build that border here. Since the builders are fairly fine now, we can think a little bit about that. I will have to fortify this area too though. <laughs> that sounds great, especially if they they play on uh, 116 uh, 115 that would that's sound like our most stable version like the one I'm playing right now that would help definitely a lot okay I'm going to do I think I'm going to put this here around on the water level okay Uh, repositioning is one of the things that is on my list to take care of that rather soon. Although the general idea I'm having is going to be relatively easy to, to handle. Oh wow. So the general new idea repositioning is going to have. What is this weird? What, what are you doing Optifine? Oh, is this some kind of mod? Ah, oh, I'm just being stupid. I am using Frostwalker on my boots. <laughs> okay. Uh, hi, Margo, how are you been doing? Okay. Um, there we go. Um, I'm doing fine too, pretty nicely. There we go. We make those now chiseled sandstone here in the top. There we go. And great to hear that I'm a gorgeous geek. You are a gorgeous geek. Ah, now I got it. <laughs> that was a total fail. Oh, that it seems Optifine has 
problems with ice though or is that the texture of the texture pack maybe both seems a bit weird um i'm playing mostly with um mine colonies so that is basically mine colonies plus a few small utility mods that like quirk and journey map it's mostly those kind of mods we have additionally and that's nice to hear so i guess tomorrow we're going to start getting your bug reports then as well <laughs> okay now we got this here around i guess um we're going to need to put something on it uh, what what is it going to be okay let's get a crafting table here um spruce log i guess i'm going to go with this spruce log and the slabs thing what do you guys think like something like like this and like this like this maybe I'm fortifying that part of our colony here because that is at the moment very easy for raiders to to go on even though i said even though i said that i'm going to do only reactionary politics and i'm going to wait for raiders to actually get us i decided i wanted to actually do this before we're going to get totally but like i do like this part here of it i'm kind of insatisfied with these side parts though um like this part yeah i'm going back but that is also very realistic like that's actually the right thing to do if you think to be like a consistent politician you gotta get back on your words just regularly enough to I believe that is kind of part of it as well I mean we do did say that we want to emulate politics mostly realistically so that is definitely a part of it I'd say okay I'm going to continue um, placing those here a little bit Ah oh, no, yes, too high. So I can place those too, great. Yeah, exactly. Here and there we just have to have them believe that we care as well. And then tell them we're going to do good stuff and then never deliver on it. And if something happens, it's because we didn't have the majority in some kind of thing where we would need it or... Yet yeah, the economy was not very good, so we couldn't actually sustain that. Yeah, it's, it's, I think that's just an important part of all of this. To be just a great leader. <laughs> okay, um, let me place it down this here. And we have a bunch of these. Maybe we can use actually cobble walls with this. How do those look like? Um, so I like that side, but I didn't like those here. Those look kind of stupid. Okay. Oh, I thought I did have... Okay, that's a fail. I thought it's fine if I have um, Frost Walker jumping on it, but yet yeah, doesn't seem like it. Okay. Um, 
I'll take care Oops. of it. Um, I guess this is pretty neat though, like this. What do you think? Could even make something like this here. And close here in the top. Oops, no, that was the wrong top. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that looks fairly reasonable. I think that's something we can go with, actually. Just need to get up again. Oh, man. Okay. Yes, that is actually... Um, at the moment that storage upgrade is not possible to kind of go back on if it if you accidentally destroy half of it. Um, that is a known problem since the inception of it. And yeah. I did not think about a solution yet for that. Most likely it's going to be that you just have to pay another block of emerald to to fix it. Um, but it it is not as easy as you think it is because actually the problem is that we do not really know if the emerald block if the other ones are fully upgraded like what is if you set that down yeah like you upgrade once then destroy a few and then you upgrade again uh, then it's going to only partially fix a few of them too so that can also cause some weird effects um, I need more walls I guess oh, the, chung yeah, the jungle village I imagine not being very easy it's because the biome itself already is fairly difficult to handle I think okay there we go I do like those uh, little bench like areas in the middle I think it gives it a a nice contrast okay on the other side we have to continue and we need to get a few more slabs and sand for us okay so we put one of these here Put the slabs through it. One, oops, two, th three. One, two, three. Okay. Destroy this here. And gotta put another wall segment here. Now we gotta get back to the warehouse quickly. In the meanwhile, we also dump a few things here in our chest. And then we can check what our builders are currently up to. Okay. Yeah, they do get stuck on wines at the moment. That is true. Gonna put a roof on That's something we do have to fix in the pathfinding. Okay. And now we see how the other ones are doing. <laughs> oh, if, if that happens, um, you will have to break them free or recall the builder either way to avoid uh, that from happening. That's something we, we have a stuck handling already, but it's working not always right the way we want it. So that is going to be something we're going to be improving in the future on too. Like it's always kind of a fight between new feature and fix all along the way. Okay, get another, that one is full. So we can get a stack and we can go head back. I mean, it's actually not that. It's not that they they can actually climb them, but that's all. They 
kind of detect them as as a letter correctly but they also um don't notice that it's a block they can stand on that's kind of the problem there because minecraft is very inconsistent on how they handle things it's very difficult sometimes to tell the citizens to do the right thing because Minecraft doesn't give us the right data to handle it actually. Okay, and we go here around the border again. I guess my okay count is also pretty high. Oh yeah, we're getting a lot new children because we had derp the config file in the last episode, if you guys remember. And we were not getting any children at all because, yeah, we forgot. Okay, there we go. Let me get this one here. Oops. Actually, did did I get the sand? No. I have to turn those off to get the sand. Where's the sand? There was a piece of sand here. And I want this piece of sand. I want it. It's mine. It's gone. Weird piece of sand. I can put on my boots again. It disappeared completely. That was weird. And they're growing up again. So you gotta go assign them to their charm relatively soon again too. Ah, and some Adams joined me already via... Ah, he already is online. There he is, some Adams. I found some sand. <laughs> ah, you found my sand. Yay. It was floating under the bridge. <laughs> but that's where it jumped. Uh, we could probably assign a few to the library to to get them leveled up a little bit. Okay. I have. Eh. I am fortifying this area a little bit. So that You're is, building wall again. <laughs> yes. To keep out. I'm not going to try to make political references here. <laughs> I don't think we need to anyways. <laughs> okay. I'm going to make some walls, some tremendous walls. Like no one has ever seen before. That is the best wall you have ever seen. Okay. Huge walls, enormous walls. Yeah, and the pirates hopefully are going to appreciate those walls. I'm going to see that they are not welcome here in this colony. <laughs> Glad to hear that. Uh, that actually is something Mizen implemented it did a good job on that one that was very that is indeed very helpful okay the question is actually do i have to fortify this side here actually i think i don't i actually think i do not have to do that thinking about it right now no the guards can't use crossbows yet Actually, this here, this side here is fine. I'm going to leave this little gate here because it looks neat. Because I got one on the other side too. However, I do. I'm going to make it shorter. How how far is one, three? Okay. Uh, one, two, three. So you can actually make that symmetric. Like nothing like symmetry. There we go. Oops. 
yeah the sunset actually does look pretty neat unfortunately we're not getting it over the sea would look probably a little bit better even definitely definitely i'm heating the entire apartment here okay um i'm going to need some torches here perfect Hmm, and going to need some torches here too. The remaining torches I can set here. Here in front again. Do not have a lot of torches with me, but I do think I got all I need for torches. I do have a lot of other chunk. But actually that one here I wanted to set here. Ta-da! Okay, now I need bunch of sticks to get a bunch more torches and I think I can go to bed too because it's yes let's do this there we go yeah my laptop is already two and a half years old already but that one has to to do it for another like two years at least because I'm still a PhD student so I really can't afford this one breaking about <laughs> is is the pharaoh burning sheep it's because the pharaoh just fires fire arrow, arrows so if your sheep are by the chance in the way Maybe he doesn't like sheep too. There's always the chance for that too. Okay, I'm going to recall you. So you don't have to hang around here in the water. Okay, the other one is probably from this car town. I'm, I don't like Sildur's a lot because it has a lot of this motion blurriness and stuff. And it kind of gives me headache. So that's the reason I'm using Seos shaders. He's actually pathing to the sheep. I never heard about that. That was not implemented that way though. <laughs> so if he does that, that's totally by chance. Do I have enough? I think I'm out of diorite now. Yeah, I need to get more diorite at the warehouse. We just drop off some stuff here first. That one is full. That one is not. Here you go. Now I can run quickly to the warehouse and get some diorite. We do you have in our storage some diorite, I believe, too? Um, I'm not sure if there is another one without all the blurriness. But I do not enjoy it so much, like sales shaders. Um, yes, there are more ray types planned. Um, for ones, like I said in the last video. No. I oh, know that was Cravel one. Yes, here a little. Oh, that's not enough. Um, like I said in, next, in the last video, we are going to have a new ray type, which is the Vikings, like Norsemen, relatively soon like relatively soon like at least by monday actually this version here has them already but we do have other types planned too our general idea is to have actually every biome or every set of biomes of vanilla biomes to have its own rate type um some probably more like in the later parts like we got for the jungle the amazon warriors and we're going to have in the future also native uh, northern americas for this biome i always forget the one with the acacia trees and especially for meza the meza biomes however 
before doing that, I would like to as Savannah exactly. Um, but before doing that, I would actually want to have um, the stuff implemented for using horses, so we can actually have them. I think he brought everything now. Yes, I got them here. Die right. Ah yes, the Nat Native Americans are Meza. I was confusing those a little bit. The Savannah. Eh. Maybe we could actually have like animal raids even. You can get like... I don't know, I don't like... No, bad idea, forget it. You had to have <laughs> to kill animals, not my favorite thing. Thought you could have like wild tigers, but those are already endangered species. You don't have to hunt them in game too. Um, we could have some weights use uh, vanilla mobs too, like vindicators and all that stuff. Oh, I actually did love that idea, John. Having actually cowboys as the raider type in the Mesa biome. That's actually a, an even better idea, true. Because that those were actually the ones uh, raiding. So that's actually a pretty decent idea. With, although they, it might be difficult with the gun part, because that is kind of not what we want for our mod. That's the only problem. I do like the idea though. Definitely. Um, turn off those shoes. I want to get a little bit of that sand here. To fill in some gaps. A gun textured bow. <laughs> so, there we are. So I can close this. Nice. Um, I did drop all the other things I wanted. A gnoll raid? What is a gnoll raid? Never heard that. And dwarven raiders. <laughs> okay. Orc raiders. Could have orc raiders. Then and you can hire Gandalf to defend. You can uh, have Gandalf on the bridge and he's going to say, you shall not pass. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> um, there is my stuff. Ah, yes. Yes. Um, gonna eat something. What about dwarven for a mountain biomes? Yeah, that sounds actually. Um, yeah. we also did think about something like yeti raiders. In the um ice biomes, for example. Okay. There we. No, I th think it's better at the corner, actually. Here we go. And the other corner. Better. Um, and then the slabs to connect them. And we're going to have hobbits that are going to arrive at your... Um, at your cook and going to demand at least twice breakfast every morning. Yeah. And some of them turn invisible randomly. <laughs> and they might turn invisibly randomly and steal food from your colony. But you still can hear them eating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to get sued for copyright infringes. You think somebody copyrighted invisible eating? <laughs> <laughs> no, but hobbits. 
It's just little men's invisibility. A little men with um, fur on their feet, yeah. Yeah, coincidentally. <laughs> Um, there we go, finishing around here, great. And there. We didn't get a raid no, yesterday, we need pirates today. Yeah, we didn't get a raid. Um, and I think Captain is already totally crazy to see us getting killed. He's probably not the only one. I know our viewers secretly are only tuning in to see us killed. Just to, most fun. to feel like the satisfaction of like, ah, your deaths are destroying our colonies every day and now... You die too. Now you <laughs> die too. The internal satisfaction. Yeah, yeah. Captain is calling for a raid. And like we're reaching the minimum number of knights fairly quickly, so the probability of a raid is increasing strongly. Yeah. I wonder how much more population we need to uh, get two raids at once. Two ships, yeah, that would be not very nice. Well, it is possible. I know it is possible. Doesn't <laughs> say that I like it. Okay, I'm going to mine those and I'm not going to get pirates just now that I disabled part of our defenses. <laughs> that would be very unfortunate. Yeah, yeah, the, I know exactly where you're coming from, Shirley. I know exactly. Now even Margo is calling for this. I thought you were my friends! <laughs> okay, um... Got him the resources. Eh... Uh, okay... Uh, our future idea was actually making raids more generally configurable. So then you can actually mod pack makers can actually include modded entities into the raid. Because that is actually not a problem at all. Because we can very simply add the AI tasks that are needed to raid a colony to any entity. So we could use all kinds of modded entities to cause additional raids for example like in rl craft we could create some dragon raids or something like that that would actually be possible if you just allow it to be configurable i killed some addons only because he sh i thought he stole my shocker box which he didn't <laughs> yeah <laughs> I did say sorry, didn't I? I did say sorry. I uh, bought pirates again. <laughs> the next time he's actually going to steal my shocker boxes and then I can't actually suspect him anymore because I did it the last time and it was bad. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I actually was trying once to start an RL craft video series with mine colonies. Like I made a little RL craft mod pack with mine colonies in it. And I just gave up in the middle of it because it was just too insane. I was just getting... Every time I was getting close to getting something halfway reasonable build up I just got killed over and over and over and over again so yeah that's not what I understand and it is quite nice because it's kind of challenging but on the other hand it's also a vastly exaggerated who came up with that 
Okay. We are going to have uh, Viking long longbows now. Now, in that part, we can actually show you before I end the stream. I'm going to go in single player. I can actually show you the new raid type with the barbarians and uh, with the Norsemans. Yeah, the, uh, that's that was the mod I was actually thinking about. Adding the anti the dragons from that into raids would be a fairly neat idea. Oh, nice! Did you make it or did you make it in block bench? Yeah, we got triplets or th uh. Or there was Woodstack nine months ago, either way. Let me see if I can assign them to the Combat Academy. No, Vikings um, only spawn if you're if it's like water and your colony is in a of course. Of course. Oh they need shields. If your colony is in a taiga biome, basically, that's the only way to get Norseman raids. Um, you guys are needing shields, I see. There you go. How's the work going? One for you. Right. One for you. They still have the paper in their inventories from being kids. <laughs> yeah, that would be uh, pretty neat, but that's kind of... It's because people hate having the citizens having a day off. People really do not like free holidays. We did have some plans in the future to add things like actual holidays. Like every seven days, citizens have a day off. But that is more for something, for a new type or something like, for a new, for the new systems and economic systems, etc. Uh, that one needs torches yet here. Yeah, that's more something going to make when we add the economic systems. So people demand day off after some times or... I'm going to require hella s higher salaries if you don't want them to take days off occasionally. Yeah. I would say most of the people playing mine colonies are fairly oppressive dictators. <laughs> Kind of worrisome. <laughs> Definitely, I'm sure John is never going to forget Mackenzie. One day, John is going to tell his grandchildren about the Saint Mackenzie that used to live. I'm pretty sure about that. Hey, we did add recently that citizens at least should go, be able to go to bed regularly or else they're going to be fairly unhappy. And seemingly players are actually taking them on it now and are actually saying, oh, I can't sleep. My citizens have to do that yet. So I'm glad about that at least. But I do fe feel bad for them sometimes. That is... Definitely the truth. One, two, three, right? One, two, three. Oops. Wrong block. Here we go. One, two, three. And some torches in front.
Yeah, that is also an option, definitely. But I had, like I said, the economic, the happiness system at the moment doesn't have a huge influence on the overall colony, and that is mostly because it has a little effect on leveling and a few things, but not a huge effect. So for this effect to be kind of bigger in the future, um, the idea is to add a few things like the economic system. We're out of diorite again, aren't we? Um, mm -hmm. How about unhappy citizens turn to pirates? Unhappy citizens become pirates. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Good I idea, right? Oh wow, Iris Champ, that is very nice of you. <laughs> Appreciating it a lot, the support. Okay, more diorite I want. Diorite. What are you doing with all the diorite? Using it, all of it. Just so that when the next build task needs it, I'm going to be like, no, I'm out of tire right again. <laughs> um, oh, no, no, no. Hey, w one of the general ideas we had for the future was actually on multiplayer servers or on servers with um, autonomous colonies. Unhappy citizens actually would leave to go to other colonies. That was actually one of the ideas we had. Your citizens are too unhappy. They might actually leave and join another colony that could then be connected with this tavern system so those citizens would then hang around other people's taverns and you can get hired there yeah i think that would be a pretty neat integration of that we kind of close the circle okay. and suddenly someone ends it says Barnaby. Yeah, like we have a lot of, like I say every video, we could be working on mine colonies for a decade and still not be finished with it. Like there's these things we could do similar to how you're proposing. Um, where unhappy citizens um, start stealing stuff and then you need maybe a prison system, but kind of it's also teaching you that if you actually need a prison system, it means that your citizens are not happy enough and that likely you're doing something wrong. But it would be fairly interesting, maybe even educated for that. I think that would be pretty neat. <laughs> you can't turn your colony into America. And yeah, then everyone is going to be in the prison system. Yeah, half is in prison, other half is the police, and yeah. some are building walls. <laughs> and we're going to then have prisoners go defend against uh, barbarian attacks and get them killed. But uh, did, did you change the idea like one of the things that I always like a lot is having choices. Oh, the miner died. What? Alice. I thought, Alice, you were good in going down rabbit holes. Did I misjudge you? I guess I did. We even had to get down there. Guess we went down, but was too late. Yes, but uh, in general, like I said, I do like choices a lot. So that there is a real difference between a well and a not very well managed colony that is like my plan always yeah i thought alice was better than the others but it was kind of disappointing but i'm kind of sad as well gotta be going to have a speech in front of my citizens I'm going to say how sad i am so that they think I'm a compassionate leader. Let me do that.
here. John built this. Fellow citizens, we know it's a very sad day. And I'm very sad about the passing of Alice through a roofless skeleton. This is a proof we need more walls. And we can't stop the economy from running, so keep working. Thanks. So, gotta keep these things realistic, I think. Oh, I need to hire a new miner. Okay, there we go. Oh, we did you hire the new citizens already? Yeah. Ah, okay, I wanted to hire one of them as a miner. Uh -huh. Yeah, I made some more cards. <laughs> I think we got 10 childs or so. Um, there we go. Um, d there is a little interaction with weather and citizens just don't work when it's raining. I've learned that in in Brazil and in Mediterranean countries that things stop working when it's raining. So I took that as a influence to <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That was always in the mod already that they don't work when it's raining, interestingly. And they do walk around a little bit when it's raining, that's true. Although maybe that's something some add-ons could add. It's that if they if it's raining and there are there's a tavern, they go to the tavern. And that's yeah. probably that's, a good idea. It's doable. Should but I can't make all go to the tavern. And it could be a bit much. <laughs> Yeah, but we could have them hang out at specific places, like yeah. like when it starts raining, each citizen chooses a random place, and then some go to the tavern, some go to, let's say, um, the cook, we, to the restaurant. We can also uh, make our builders add some rainy text to the sh schematics and yeah, we could have um decorations like with a rainy one tank. is sitting in front of a window another one is at a restaurant and such yeah that would be actually a nice idea yeah that would that is definitely uh a neat idea though true something worth thinking about um, I think we got builders in our stream, right? Who can do it, guys? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, John, John is here, and John is John left already when when he heard someone calling out to build more stuff, even. Oh, he doesn't need to build more. Just uh, add text to each existing schematic, and we scan it. Uh, ah, he, he just pointed out that we have to make a little video on how that actually works. You uh, could show it on stream. Yeah, I, I'm actually going to show it on stream later. Like I did say that I was I'm about to... to say you wanted to go on single player anyways. Hey, I wanted to go on single player anyways and show you guys the Nordic ships. So that could actually be part of it. That I'm going to show you guys then how um, the new tech system is going to work. There we go. Oh, library is probably a good idea as well for a rainy place. Yeah. Could have them even level up intelligence in the. Oh, that's an epic idea, actually. When it rains and a worker doesn't work and there's a library, they will hang out at the library and level up. Oh, that's actually an idea I love. Are you writing this on your list, Sam Adams? <laughs> no, I'm lazy. Sam <laughs> Adams, your list also has to get fuller. 
Write that. Right there in your list. <laughs> My list is enough for this year. <laughs> then you're not working enough. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let me get some more cobblestone here. Uh, but the anti-rain research is actually super difficult to get. And it's like a player choice. The player, it's like I said earlier, I do like choices. So some players might not want their citizens to get more intelligent and just work during the rain. We could even add in the addition to that, that workers that work during the rain have a higher chance to get sick, for example. So it kind of it still makes sense to not research that. It's, it's all about choices, right? And we do not have... Um, I always run through here. We didn't have time to finish the modes yet. They're pretty close, though. Um, I'm going to check with the guy that is working on the emotes. And I think this weekend, most likely, we're going to have a bunch of emotes then ready for you guys. Um, here we go. There we go. Maybe a little bit farther. Let me just break those blocks. There, there, fine. Now I need torches. Yeah, and that part is part of the next stream. This here is pretty fine already, I would say. We fortify this part of the colony, like I said at the beginning of the video. I'm going to break those. And I'm going to drop off some of my stuff in the warehouse. Okay. Um, how are the builders doing, by the way? Okay, he's working on a s level five citizen hut again. Our colony is getting. I'm like, I'm afraid to get two, uh, two, two pirate ships soon. <laughs> that colony is getting out of hand. Someday you get two pirate ships and I'm not there. <laughs> oh man, I would just cry on stream. <laughs> that would be terrible. Do we have some iron somewhere? We do have in the town, in, in the warehouse as far as I know. No. I took 35. the 20 already and it's empty now. We got 35 in the warehouse. But iron ingots? Yeah. Iron I ingots. requested on the post box and it didn't show any. Yes. How many did you request there? Ten. Because here it shows 35 in the thing eating. Okay. Um. Let me take care of those. Requesting five still isn't working. No. Um, drop off all the things. Now we dropped it off. Great. We have two iron ingots. Two? So you I say. No, it says here 35 in the... Yeah, iron ingots. Yes. On stream. Yeah, for me it says two. <laughs> that that that's just weird. That's just weird. <laughs> I guess um my view didn't get updated yet with that data. It's the only thing I can imagine. Yeah, it's weird. Oh wow, having the delivery man use ender pearls. <laughs> That would be pretty, pretty overpowered. Although ender pearls could be used. It's pretty expensive. 
Ender Pearls could be used for a few interesting mechanics, though, of transporting yeah. stuff. That I have. That I have to say, that could be some interesting. Way. Use one pair of work order to instantly go to the build site and back. Yeah, for example, or yeah, it would allow guards to teleport on low health <laughs> back to their guard yeah. tower or something like that. Or any worker, like any worker that has an ender pearl, when their health and flows to move. and their health falls below a certain level, okay. they teleport back. That, that's actually some neat, n neat ideas. Like, we still get didn't get a raid, right? Like we're well, it's two hours. Ah, uh, fell in the water. Two hours without a raid. Is it because I didn't fall into any ravine anymore? It's like kind of jinxed. Try, try jumping down one. There. There. Um. Yes. I think. I think the delivery men don't use the the ender chests although i'm <laughs> not a hundred percent on that i never actually tried that out to be honest uh, captain salt is going to be very unsatisfied if he doesn't see a raid that one i'm sure about mm. okay we got a worker we can just figure out one <laughs> I mean, you want to test our defenses, no? So. Okay. Do triggered raids reset the counter? Yes. Well, that's not so bad. Okay, let, let's try this. Okay, let's try this. Do we have your banner? I do have... No, wait. I have a banner and I started just a poll on, on Twitch if people want a raid now. Oh. So, so people can now vote if they want a raid wait so i have to open twitch now and say <laughs> and if if people vote for a raid uh we are going to trigger one uh, you have to be logged in as well although it seems people hate us sufficiently we got a hundred now at least one person thank you whoever it was at least one person said no Seven person said yes. <laughs> and you were the... <laughs> No, I wasn't the one. I can't vote actually on my own poll. Uh, a raid it is, I would say. Okay. Um, MC Colony Raid now. One. So where are they going to come from? Southwest. Southwest. So we're going to get either barbarians or Oh, I don't have my where am I here? Barbarians. Barbarians. Okay. Can I swim here? And I have I rallied think... my army. Ah, cool. was about to ask. So, army, where oh, are it you? Looks funny. You can see the army walking. The army is coming. I'm going to start sniping. I need my 
Actually, this here too. Oh, not all not jumping How's down. The work going? Hey, they're actually some of them are actually jumping down here in the water. Yeah. Have to be careful with friendly fire now. <laughs> yeah, if he's using follow modes, then you can't friendly fire. Okay. <laughs> it's because it's not follow mode. So we are losing a bunch of them, it seems. Here. Kill them. Don't do that. Don't do that. Stop it. Ow. Oh, nice, those actually were like they killed the the barbarians almost faster than I do. That's yeah, no, pretty not neat. Quite. And we defended our colony already. See that? See? Easy, wait. Easy. So our guards now return to regular duty. Yeah, one of the things I said already too, our archers should probably stay in a bit greater distance. Because sometimes... <laughs> oh, it's so funny how to, to see them actually wake each other up. They're like they walk and they're like, oh, that sucker is sleeping and hit him. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, oops. Oh, how did I do that? Why did I jump? Could I actually have walked on the water? I wonder why only some jumped down into the water and then some didn't. Yeah. Did, did did you see that they even fall asleep on the water? I think that's something yeah, that has to be fixed. Fall asleep anywhere. <laughs> what is that? What are you? What are you? A guru that is sleeping on the water? What? Who? who how many died? How many did we lose? One, two, three. Yes. And that Three. was with half of them not actually fighting at the start. So that worked out satisfactory. Uh, that that tomb here is Ashy's tomb. Poor Ashy wasn't unsure what she or he wanted for his life or her life and then left us, never returned. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we do need a bunch more armor, but we are out of iron again. I don't know how we do this. Like I yeah, barely, I barely wasted a stack and a half of iron on my wall here. <laughs> <laughs> Maximum two stacks of iron. But yes, we do need armor. Maybe we can have some worker who's building iron stuff with some discount. Yeah, there's, there's, mm. We do have a lot of stuff like that could be used to get iron out of it, like all the skimters and these kinds of things. Yeah. So if we add that to the smelter, that would be already a help. Or the horse armor and that kind of stuff too. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> nah, we can do that all in overworld. What was that? Are we going to get another raid now? 
Oh. I mean, you can ask your uh, Twitch chat and see if they want another way. <laughs> another one? No, no, no. We can, we can do this once per episode, not twice. <laughs> I, I bet they wouldn't even say no. <laughs> Um, do guards fight while swimming? They should fight while swimming too. Yeah, they do. S swimming is just the same as normal walking. As uh, swimming is, as uh, swimming is like walking. Um, Aris, what kind of the chunks are disappearing? That sounds weird. Oh. <laughs> funny that's funny <laughs> we did get the second raid no. that was <laughs> that was unprecedented <laughs> can you sleep quick like you didn't ask before <laughs> can you go sleep quickly yeah And I'm going to jump over here and I'm going to call the guards again. Ow. Ow. That hurt. I'm going to start killing some of them. Ouch. Ouch. Guards, help! <laughs> Damn it! I got killed. Oh, now they are all walking back. And the guards are walking back now? Yeah. Oh, great. So, th the thing of getting killed? Kind! <laughs> okay, I died. And like, even way that we aren't doing this. Okay, I'm going to get my stuff here while I enjoy the raider music at least. So where's my stuff? I did fall into this here. Okay. Okay, I've rallied my army again. Stop it. Don't do that. Uh, I did kinda drop the banner. Help me, guards! Thanks. Oh, what was that? Again? Your guard shot you. My guard <laughs> shot me. My, my old guard shot me. My own, my like own guard shot me in the back. He's like saying you are in the way. He was like, I'm sick and tired of this dictatorship. My own guard, I don't believe it. Are trying to run away and die. Wait, no, don't do that. Ow, that hurt. Wait, no. Oh. 
Okay. We almost defeated them. I thought you were my friend, Eli. You were like a brother to me. You were supposed to be the chosen one. Oh, I think that's the wrong movie. So... Okay, there we go. Did Eli die, actually? At this time we lost a few more. We lost... How many? One... Riley... Two... Anthony... And Alyssa... Four or five and Eli. At least Eli died as well. He deserved it. Killing me, I don't believe it. Okay, um do not tune was off hoping that one saw it in the middle of the fight. Don't tune off right now. I'm not going to I'm just going to lock out this world and I'm going to lock in quickly in a single player world. Okay, there we go. Um to show you the new um, feature, <laughs> Vikings, Norseman Raid. I just gotta load the world, that always needs a little bit, just a tad. Okay, yes, single player server. <laughs> <laughs> That's the single player world. Damn it. You locked in the server again. That was a epic fail. Yeah, though. Okay, it's loading now. No no need to clip that. I think the first barbarian raid our guards handled was actually clip worthy. The other things not so much. Yeah. The second raid we failed badly. Me dying twice kind of confused the guards and also yeah, kind of cost back and forth. And they were trying to get back and forth. So So we have now to teleport a little bit around. Okay, so that is n seemingly no tiger biome. I'm kind of stuck to re Let's do another teleport. Very nice world. Optifine. <laughs> Not loading the chunks. Isn't there a M? Wait. There is a comment for that, isn't there? Biome so plenty. TP biome. Tiger. There is a comment for biome so plenty to teleport to a biome. That is much easier. Um, oh, we are so lucky. We got into Tiger Forest next to a sea. So that we can... Let me place down that. And then I need citizen huts. And a town hall. Okay. Town hall. Nordic style, make that level 5 town hall. We want a big Nordic ship, right? Place that here. So then we need some citizen huts. Um, 
citizen, Nordic level 5. No, they look do, look fairly different, I have to say. And another citizen had Nordic level 5. And then another citizen had Nordic level 5. You need like 10 for the biggest. 10? Yeah. Do we need like 50 citizens? Okay. Mm, no, but uh, building levels and citizens. So oh. if you only got, you know, 20 citizens and, and just I four buildings. And I failed just epically, really epically. I forgot oh, to... Oh, you didn't place a town hall. I did place a town hall. I forgot to click create colony. Oh, right. Okay, town hall. Level 5. Here we go. And citizen huts all over <laughs> again. <laughs> um, citizen hut, not town halls. The first, yeah, yeah, I graded level one citizen hut. I want the level five citizen hut, obviously. I'm just so good and failing. Okay, level 5. There we go, fixed it. Um, the next one. Fixed it. Next one, this one here too. And I'm, then I'm going to take a stack of diamonds in the hand and I'm going to hire a bunch of citizens <laughs> with good levels. Okay. I think, yes. So I'm going to go in the town hall now. Um, any diamonds? Recruitment. More of them. More of them. More of them. More diamonds. There we go. Uh, let's see. If we do MC raid all now. Reloading your chunks. Okay, now I'm going to call a few more. Kill the raiders. And I hope I'm going to get a little ship somewhere now. In a second or so. Probably good to take some guard towers too. Okay, we got the little pirate. Uh, we got the medium pirate ship. Uh, the medium Nordic um, ship. You can see here. Those are the archers, and that is actually the captain, the viking chief. Here you see the viking chief, you can see the viking archer, and that here is the viking ship. And there you can see our viking shield maiden, that are going to jump off the ship now as well. So that is basically the medium sized yeah they were broken inside <laughs> in a locked room but that's basically the new norseman raid type with the chief the archer and the shields maiden and that is the medium sized ship
Together with that update, you're now going to get some loot. So don't forget to dig around the barrels and chests you find. Because there's actually now stuff to get here. Um, interesting, the, uh, the Vikings, if they spawn on land, they also spawn without ships. Yeah, they're basically the same thing as um, pirates, game mechanic-wise. Although similarly, they have they're a little bit more balanced already. And ants, I suppose. Weird. Um. Oh, there was an, a never loot in the chest, and then you, the loot is a new mechanic. I'm going to kill them before they... So yes, they do have a similar mechanic as... Actually, they were supposed to swim faster than that. I think it's because my computer is at the limit <laughs> rendering this area here. They were lagging. They're actually swimming faster than that. At least they're supposed to. Is there anything special in the pirate making them swim faster? Uh, yes. They got some special swimming bonus. So we have to add that to the Vikings too then. <laughs> yeah. So but yes, that is basically the new Viking raid type. They also have three ships. Um, it's BOP teleport biome comment you can use. That's a new Viking type. Now the question you actually asked was about the tag system. Let me see if I can. Um, oh, I can show you the ship here. The big Norseman ship. There we go. Yeah, that is uh, the biomes of plenty comment. So I can actually show now John the new comment too. So this is actually the new the Norse the main ship of the Norseman. And you can see there there are the gold blocks where the raiders are supposed to spawn. Now there is this tag tool your tag tool and you shift right click this tag tool on the decoration controller shift right click and now the moment I did that yeah it looks John did a uh, Carlsoner did a great job on designing it now after right click it you see it gets the red border around shift right and clicking it and now you can see actually that the blocks I have um, assigned the spawner tags on. So this is going to allow us in the future to add spawners to structures without any problems. That's one of the new mechanics I was working on. Um, if you want to add more things to it, you would just right click in the air. I would just delete the enter block. You right click in the air and op it opens this GUI and then you can for once remove the blocks here but you can also add a new tag close the AI and just hit the block with it and like hitting it adds it and hitting it removes it that is the new tag system in the mod basically um, as the music is tuning in and it's getting fairly uh, late, we had a pretty long stream today. I'm going to say good night and see you most likely tomorrow, everyone. Good night and see ya.